Welcome back, beer tubers. Ryan here with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Today we're going to be looking at Phantom's regular saison. I had a hell of a time trying to find a bottle of this. Uh, you can kind of find a lot of their other beers around town pretty easily, but this particular one was hard to find. Uh, the, I've had this before, and but my understanding is a lot of times he'll. Danny, the head brewer guy, will change around recipes, add different spices or ingredients or whatever into them. So hopefully I have a good bottle here. Let's get it open. It's got the cork and the cap, so it's going to take a while to get this open. We'll come back and get this beer poured. Okay, not much of a pop, but uh, I do see some bubbles on top. Yeah, it's definitely carbonated. Maybe not as highly carbonated as other saisons. Uh, very clear. It didn't kept the yeast in the bottle. Uh, yeah, not a lot of carbonation, which is very disappointing. Very pale golden color. Let's get the nose on. Oh yeah, I love the nose on this beer. It's it's got this big floral fruity character you don't get in a lot of other saisons. Uh, it, it's got a little bit of yeast spiciness. Get like a berry strawberry note in there. Actually, a lot of strawberries. This must be the strawberry version. I, I think that's something recent. I could be wrong though. Floral, um, big breadiness. A little bit of that funk, that that kind of phantom yeast strain funk, coming from some kind of you know slight bit of wild bacteria in there. Actually, getting, the more I think about that, the more I pick it up on the nose. So, smells good. Let's dig in. Cheers. Yeah, that's fantastic stuff. It's it's one of my favorite saisons. Probably might be my favorite saison. It's so unique. Um, although this one, I don't remember in the past having this much of a strawberry character, which I've heard is maybe. Maybe that's what this year's batch, or I'm not sure how often these get released, but it's marked on here uh, on the label. It's lot A J13. So I don't know quite what that means, but that's what's on there. It's up front, you get a lot of that kind of like peppery kind of notes, some spiciness. Maybe a touch of hops, I don't know. You know, maybe something like a German or Czech, you know. Uh, style kind of earth there's like an earthiness and a little bit of a kind of bitterness up front then it transitions into big fruity notes midway through you get a lot of like stone fruit you get that sort of peachy that strawberry kind of comes through it's also very floral so you got a big floral character in there so it's got that kind of light red berry notes uh, the, the that kind of mid, sweeter kind of peach note works really well and then it ends with more of that yeast kind of funkiness get a little bit of that kind of there's like a little bit of lactic character it kind of adds a little bit of like creaminess to the beer ever so I mean not really like a, a kind of Brettanomyces funkiness but there is a little bit of that kind of earthy kind of hay character in there as well so it's it's got some really nice complexities going for it I just wish this bottle was better. It's it's just not as carbonated as I remember it being in the past. I mean, the style should be pretty pretty carbonated. So that's my major complaint with this one. I'm still going to give it an A. I think it's excellent saison. Uh, if you get a good bottle, I think it's even better. I think it's definitely A plus territory. Yeah, I just can't give this particular bottle an A plus because of the lack of carbonation coming from it. So. Highly rec recommend picking it up if you can find it. It seems like Phantom is getting harder to find, at least uh, this regular Saison, because it's so highly regarded. And uh, yeah, some of their other little limited special one-offs can be tricky to find, but it seems like their, uh, their Christmas season always sticks around a while for some reason. But highly recommended Phantom Saison. Until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.